Hi, and welcome back to Sailing LRA. In this video, I wanted to provide some geographical context by explaining where we moor LRA, why we're here, and why we like it so much. There'll also be some information for people who might be considering mooring a boat in Sydney Harbour for the first time. LRA is moored in the Lane Cove River, which is one of the tributary rivers of Port Jackson, or more commonly, Sydney Harbour. In fact, just Port Jackson is made up of Sydney Harbour, North Harbour, Middle Harbour, and the Lane Cove and Parramatta Rivers. The blue arrow on the map shows the Lane Cove River, with the pink circles showing the Sydney Harbour Bridge, just for some context. There are a few options for mooring uh, in Sydney Harbour, including a private marina, a private mooring, and public moorings. Private marinas offer all the services that you'd want, but can generally cost upwards of about $12,000 uh, per year for a boat of LRA size. We're on a swing or blue water mooring and pay a mooring license fee of just over $600 per year. When we bought LRA, the mooring tackle was included, but this is not always the case. The mooring tackle is seen here. It can be expensive to purchase, and of course it needs to be professionally laid. There are also waiting lists for most moorings in Sydney, so we were lucky to be in the right place at the right time. The right place? We just love the Lane Cove River. And where we are is surrounded by the prestigious Sydney suburb of Hunters Hill. So the banks are adorned with beautiful period mansions and exquisite landscaping. Our moorings tucked away from the damaging sublease it is quiet and calm. The following footage shows some scenery within five minutes of our mooring. Please excuse the engine noise. So here we are underneath Riverview School again. This is in a place called Tambourine Bay, which is just around the corner from our mooring. I'm, I'm fascinated by the uh, building works that have been uh, constructed and <laughs> deconstructed over the years. And uh, I'm here in my tender, which I like to call Petit Bateau or Little Boat. This absolute beauty is moored about a hundred meters from us. Um, next time I see the owners on board I'm going to pop over and say good day. I just think this is the most beautiful boat, obviously needs some restoration, uh, but I'd love to find out some more of its history. If you know anything about it, please let me know in the comments below. Um, it's just an absolute delight, the canoe, stern, uh, the portholes, everything about it, I just think is just magnificent. It's about 50 foot long and has presence for days.
thanks once again for watching our video. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to do an in-depth look at LRA herself. So if you own a Cavalier 28, if you're thinking about buying one, you can see what we've done with the boat. We're very, very happy. See you next time. Thank you.